Hello, let's look at this question. I will explain it to you the way you will understand. So don't run away. It says, a man drags a bag of rice along a smooth horizontal floor with a force of 2 newton. Apply at an angle 60 degrees to the floor. The work done after a distance of 3 meters is what? This is the man. This man is dragging this bag of rice on a smooth surface. We are going to assume that this surface is a smooth surface. As you can see, this man that is dragging it is dragging it with a force in this direction. And we take this as what? 60 degree. Okay? He said we should calculate the work done by this man after 3 meters. After a distance of 3 meters of dragging this bag of rice. You know that some people they don't have cars. So as he was dragging it, dragging it, dragging it, he applied what? A force from his body on this bag of rice at a 60 to the floor. How do we calculate the work done? In physics, how will you see this? You will see it like this. Say, a man take this body and drag it 60 degrees to the horizontal. Okay? If you want to take this from here, you can still take it 60 degrees to the horizontal. Anyhow, you want to draw it. The force is applied in this direction. I'm trying to rearrange it now. That is this direction. You can also draw it like this. If you want to draw it like that. Say, this is the body on the floor. The man is dragging it like this. And this angle is 60 degree to the horizontal. Okay? So, we are asking you to calculate the work done from here to here. We call it 3 meter. Okay? So what is work done? For you to do work, you need to apply a force. As you are applying that force, you must cover a distance. So we multiply the force by the distance. So if this is F, the force you applied, and this is the distance you cover, small letter X, we multiply this by X to get Fx. This is the work done. Work done. Okay? The work done by anybody is the distance you covered and amount of force you applied. If you multiply the two, you get work done. No problem? Now that you know this, we know the distance to be 3 meter. What about the force? Some students will go straight and apply this, that is 2 newton. You can only apply this 2 newton if the force applied is in the same direction or parallel to the distance. Remember, this is the distance. If the force you apply was being applied in this direction, that is if the force applied is also on this horizontal level, not 60 degree, you take the tunity the way it is. But because it is not in this direction, but this direction, you have to find the equivalence of this in this direction. What is the component of this force? in this horizontal direction because we know the distance to be like this also you that is like this we must bring you to be parallel like this so how do we get this part of it that is when you have to remember your trigonometry that says to get the equivalent this as far as i'm concerned is adjacent here let's call it x this is the force. We are looking for your equivalence in this direction. It's like this now. That is like this, like this. Okay? This is the force. This is X. We are looking for S now. The component of this force in this S direction. 
To get it, you agree with me, adjacent and hypotenuse, when they come together, is always F equals to F cos 60. So this F multiplied by cos 60 is the component of this force in horizontal level. So therefore, we have to say to get the work now, that is work done, done, is equal to the force, which is now this F cos 60 multiplied by the distance 3. What is F? F is 2. Cos 60 multiplied by 3. So what is cos 60? Cos 60 is 0.5. If you multiply this now, you're going to have 1. Multiply by this, you have 3. That is 3 joules. So this man you are seeing here, after completed 3 meter, the distance of 3 meter, the amount of work he has done is what? 3 joules. Because he applied these two newton 60 degrees to the horizontal surface. What you should learn here is, don't just say because you know that work done is equal to F times distance. You just put these two here, I put three, then you get six. As you can see, in this option, this is a jump question. The answer is even waiting for you. The first one you are going to see, six, you mark it, you fail. Then you go home and tell your mother, I pass, I clear everything. Very simple. You just miss it. This is the right answer. Okay?